Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name's Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Today I'm going to be talking about two things that are very near and dear to my heart, skincare and sustainability. And oftentimes those two do not mesh. Now I'm an obvious lover of skincare. I mean, I'm a self-proclaimed skincare junkie. I have way too many products. And as much as I try not to, sometimes I do cave to the hyper-consumerism pressures of wanting to try the next big thing. But at the same time, I also really like to focus on sustainability, how I can reduce my environmental footprint, how I can reduce, reuse, recycle, what ways I can help the earth. And these two things may seem contradictory. And I have to admit, I sometimes feel really guilty about that. I'm in an industry that is ever more becoming like the fast fashion industry where people are just buying and buying and buying tons of skincare, not just because they need skincare, but purely for interest. And I mean, being that this is the job, I sometimes feel like there's not a ton I can do about it because my goal on this channel is to talk about skincare products and recommend them to you guys. But at the same time, I try to interwine sustainability into my message by telling you guys what products have good formulas, which ones don't, which ones are worth your money, which ones aren't. So that way you're spending less time just buying random products and hoping that they work and more time being very deliberate about what you purchase. But I've always been like, no Hiram, this isn't enough. You need to do more. And then I came across the concept of a zero waste skincare routine. And I have to be honest, it was intriguing at first. I was like, okay, I'm ready to Marie Kondo my skincare routine, Jane Goodall who? And I ventured out to try doing a zero waste routine. I bought multiple products. I was on the hunt. And slowly but surely, I started to realize that this for me was impossible and impractical, but I'll get into that later. And there's a lot of reasons why a zero waste skincare routine didn't work for me and why I would venture to guess it wouldn't work for the majority of people. And I wanna talk about why, what the mistakes are in zero waste skincare and ways that you can actually and actively make an impact on the earth through your skincare routine. This video is also sponsored by Piperberry, so stay tuned to learn more about that. But before I get into the problem, let me show you the products that I got because I love a good haul. <laughs> Here I am being like sustainability and then I'm like, okay, time for a skincare haul. The contradiction is screaming at me. So in my journey to do a zero waste skincare routine, these are the products that I got. I first got these per recommendation of Ava Jewels. These are reusable cotton pads. And this was one something that bothered me the most in the skincare industry is seeing how many cotton pads I would go through every single day. And likewise, seeing how many people when removing their makeup waste so many cotton pads. And the problem with cotton pads is that it's, it's cotton. It's made from plants and it takes a lot of water and resources to grow cotton. A cotton shirt is great because you reuse that over and over again, sometimes hundreds of times. But for cotton pads, they're meant to be used once and then thrown away. So the environmental footprint is astronomical. astronomical. But these are reusable cotton pads that I got on Amazon. I'll have them linked below. All the products in this video will be listed below. If you are interested in purchasing any of them, I make a small commission that supports me on my channel. Just a resource for you, no pressure. And I immediately fell in love because this was a great way of being still able to use my skincare products, guilt-free of daily waste. I also started using this cleanser, which is actually today's video sponsor, Piperberry. If you guys aren't familiar with Piperberry, it's a small skincare brand that I've grown to really fall in love with over time, as I've mentioned them in a few videos before, and really enjoyed specifically this cleanser. I'm trying to make an active effort to support smaller businesses since a lot of the attention on my channel has gone towards huge companies. One key element in moving towards a sustainable future, in my mind, is working to support smaller and smaller businesses as opposed to the huge ones, something I... I'm trying to work on, <laughs> but it's difficult for reasons I will explain later. But with the sustainability and reusability focus that Piperberry has, I think they're a good embodiment of what sustainable skincare should look like. And I really like this cleanser specifically because kale is really good for reducing oiliness and excess sebum on the surface of the skin. But this one also has carrot protein, aloe vera, cucumber, green tea, just a lot of ingredients that are going to be good for soothing the face. And best of all, the cleansing agents that this cleanser uses are very gentle and are not going to overly strip your skin. I've used this off and on for probably about five to six months now, I personally find this one to be a good cleanser to use in the morning where I'm not having to get through all the sweat, dirt, and sebum buildup that I've acquired throughout the day, so I don't need a harsher cleanser. I like using this one to remove whatever products I had on during the night and to help equip my skin with some good ingredients for the day. Now, the reason I wanted to start using this one, and I mentioned it, is because it comes in a reusable glass bottle, and this is what it looks like without the labeling on it. Isn't it so pretty? I was like, this is going to be perfect for a zero-waste skincare routine, as not only is glass better than plastic packaging for cosmetics because you're able to recycle an infinite amount of times as opposed to plastic, which can only be recycled like four or five times before it ends up in landfills or in the ocean, but also because glass is very easily reused. And I plan to use this as a very bougie soap dispenser in my bathroom. And all the Piperberry products have glass packaging, this one being my personal favorite because it's the most reusable, which was going to be the entire focus of the skincare routine, repurpose and reusability. If you are interested in purchasing this cleanser, go to the link in my description box below. Thank you so much Piperberry for sponsoring this video. I also plan to use one of my favorite skincare products, the Ordinary Niacinamide 
serum. And I actually found a great way to be able to reuse this because not only can you use it as a little plant holder for like little roses or greens, when you remove the insert dropper and take the labeling off, it's a great travel size container for supplements, vitamins, or anything that small for when you're on the go. And I like that because I like to take my supplements right after I work out instead of when I get back home. And this is a great container to have with me. And lastly, I was going to use the Use of the People Adaptogen Cream, one of my favorite moisturizers of all time because of how lightweight but moisturizing it is. And reuse the glass packaging as a coin and jewelry holder of which I have been doing both for a long time. I feel like these are the perfect size to be able to hold coins, jewelry, paper clips, little accessories, and I have them around my desk. And then I got to sunscreen. And no matter how hard I tried to think of a way to repurpose a sunscreen bottle, I couldn't think of any. And then I realized that while the skincare routine is good, these specific products don't cater to all of my needs for my skin. And there was still a critical component that went against the zero waste concept. At some point in time, all of this packaging would turn to waste. And then I started running into other issues as well. Other brands that were zero waste brands tend to be chock full of fragrances, irritants, don't have a proper amount of preservatives to maintain the quality of the formula, and go completely against my personal standards for skincare, which makes it difficult to find any type of brand that is compliant with zero waste and with my standards. Because most of those zero waste brands just have a ton of essential oils and are likely to be very, very, very irritating to the face. And I started to realize that there were some problems with the zero waste skincare routine movement. And that's why I want to talk about some of the ills of zero waste and some alternatives that we can use to actually help the planet without going completely zero waste. I believe the zero waste movement is somewhat problematic because it immediately demands perfection. A completely perfectionistic state is reflected in the name, zero waste. With the way that we currently as human beings operate in the world today, it is nearly impossible to survive without creating some type of waste. It's just how we operate and the way that we use resources. There is going to be waste at some level. With that perfection reflected within the name, it's almost contradictory to how we as human beings behave. And most frustratingly, the conversation is either only about zero waste waste-free, package-free, no trash whatsoever, or there's no conversation at all. There's no middle lane. And what I think we need to do is work towards balance. And this is not to articulate the problems with zero waste being associated with certain classes. If you can afford to be zero waste, how much money it costs, where you're located, what options your country has available to you. Which is why I think we need to steer the conversation more away from zero waste and more towards sustainably conscious skincare routines. Because inevitably, what's better? 10 people who have a completely zero waste routine or a thousand people who just remove one product from their skincare routine. Obviously the thousand people. Small but wide scale changes can be the most influential. I've linked some videos down below from sustainability experts and creators talking about the problem with the zero waste movement and more effective ways that we can inspire change. So with this in mind, I wanna focus on some brands that do embody a sustainably conscious mindset and what things you can do to make sure your skincare routine is more sustainable. Now the popular phrase is reduce, reuse, recycle. And we tend to really focus on reuse and recycle when it comes to products like skincare. But I think the most important thing that we have to focus on is reduce. That is what truly makes the biggest impact. By reducing how much you're buying, excessive spending, excessive buying of products, you're avoiding so much of the root problem, which is waste. While yes, recycling and reusing are nice, the biggest impact you can make is by minimizing your skincare routine, which is why I'm always preaching to keep your skincare routine simple. Don't buy what you don't need to. Only buy what's necessary. That mindset is the best thing to adopt. And a way you can also make a difference is by supporting specific brands. I like to feature a lot of brands on my channel that are reusable sustainability conscious, like Piperberry, for example, used to the people, the ordinary, and a brand that I recently just found, I put in a big order today, Face Theory, where all their products are reusable glass jars with aluminum lids, so very sustainable. By buying products from these brands, you can repurpose them however you feel is best, like how I did or your own ideas. I'll have each of these brands listed in the description box below in case you are interested in purchasing anything from them. And then finally, if you're in a situation like me where I was with sunscreen, where I realized there's no way around it, I will have waste from the sunscreens I use. There are programs you can use to recycle. One of them being TerraCycle, in my opinion, the best recycling program out there for cosmetics, because what you can do is make an account and they'll provide you with a free shipping label to be able to send off your cosmetic products to the closest adequate recycling facility. And this is an awesome way of ensuring that you are recycling these products correctly. And what's even cooler, if you have donations that are 10 pounds or more, you get points that can be redeemed towards donations to various nonprofit organizations. So all over, it's a really great system to be a part of. And in addition to that, certain Sephora's and other stores have already partnered with TerraCycle to have these programs going. So the next time you're at Sephora or stores like Origins, The Body Shop, ask about their recycling programs, see what they're able to do because you may just be able to drop off your products at those stores. See, each of these are really good options that we can use to become more sustainability conscious without having to make huge drastic changes that significantly affect what we're able to do because of where we live, how much money we have, or what products are available to us. And if these small changes are implemented wide scale, it can create a massive difference
difference as opposed to a few people sticking to only zero waste skincare routines. And in my opinion, it's just a much better alternative. Slowly working your way to becoming more and more sustainability conscious in the way that you do your skincare routine is the best thing that you can do and any progress is progress. What do you guys think of my thoughts? Have you tried a zero waste routine before? Are you a fan? Are you not a fan? Do you like the movement as a whole? Have you tried a zero waste routine or have you tried any of the solutions that I suggested in this? Do you have any creative ideas for how you can repurpose your own products? I would love to know. Please let me know down below. Thank you so much again to Piper Berry for sponsoring this video. And if you are interested in getting that cleanser, feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.